Transmission. Hey guys, it's me again, Dreg. In this transmission, I took some cheap toys, a little bit of air dry clay, and I made something really horrible. I'm sorry. If this shot looks a little bit familiar, it's because it's from my last build. I actually built this one and the previous transmission at the same time. Toy surgery. I have a highly active imagination. It's very hard for me to take apart these toys, especially without anesthesia. This is one of my rare builds where I actually had an idea. I knew that I was going to take the front half and turn it upside down. I however did not want it to be obvious that I just turned it upside down so I took the limbs and glued it on over the eyes. I go in a little bit with some air dry clay and clean up and give it some shoulders. After removing the tail and head from this bison, I reattach its new head. I saved the head from this bison. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I thought maybe making a tiny mount? I don't know. What are your ideas? Leave a comment below. This bee is left over from the previous build. Originally, I was going to use two legs as kind of antlers, but then I liked it too much and used all six legs. After I glued the legs in place off camera, I went back with extra super glue and baking soda to make sure the bond really stuck. Can you imagine if toys were alive? Dreg would be no better than Sid off Toy Story. I took this tail from some random toy unlucky enough to be found by me and added it to my bison. All their limbs are in more or less the appropriate places so I take air dry clay and hide the seams. I found that air dry clay is easier to work with if you wet the surface and then work a little bit of extra moisture into the clay itself. The wet surface helps the air dry clay to bond to it easier. After using some modeling tools to add a little bit of texture to the modeling clay, I move on to this creature's cold, dead eyes. I'm using a Dremel to carve out his eye sockets. Dremeling out the eye sockets left a little bit of plastic fuzz, so I used some fire to burn it out. I used these giant gaudy beads I stole from my daughter to make this creature's horrible eyes. A little bit more air clay around this creature's eyes to make the eye sockets blend seamlessly into the eyes. I can't think of anything more I want to do to this creature, so it's time to paint it. I thought maybe painting it would make this creature's eyes less creepy. I was wrong. Unlike building it, I had no plan for the paint job, so I just decided to wing it.
I liked how this build had some very bug-like qualities, so I wanted to give it a very bug-like paint job. So I added these very garish and gaudy polka dots. The dots were an experiment. I wanted to see how extreme I can make the paint job and still have it fit in when I did the wash and the dry brushing later on. Then I painted the eyeballs a very, very bright blue. Then as if the dots were not enough, I painted a green ring around the rosies. If you do not get that extremely vague joke, I suggest you look into the history of that nursery rhyme. Painting his teeth and claws white. Adding a little bit of dirty paint water to some burnt umber acrylic paint. Seriously, a burnt umber wash can fix any jacked up, messed up paint job that you can possibly throw at it. Trust me, I know, I've been there. I wanted these eyes to pop a little bit, so I painted a uh, little purple dot onto each little faucet of them. Did I say that right? Facet? Faucet? Fa facet? Uh, you get the idea. Using purple, off-white, and red, I made a mauve uh, wash painted over the eyes, and then went over the gums and the mouth membrane of this creature. And because no creepy bulbous eyes are complete without a mucous membrane, I made a red wash and made it look like the eye sockets were very irritated. A real quick dry brush of a very bright green Then I dry brush some silver over the eyeballs to make them shine. Finally, a black wash to hit some highlights very, very selectively, and then we are on to the money shots. Money shots. Hey guys, thanks for watching this transmission. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this build. Also, Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Also, if you are on some sort of social media platform, Twitter, Insta, one of those, leave this link over there. Let your friends see it. That would help us out a whole lot.
Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the Overlord. He left me a message, and then he stopped returning my phone calls, and then he started acting super flaky, so... Yeah. It wasn't a super healthy relationship, anyhow. He was so needy. Alright, so I'm going to shut my mouth now. I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of this and listen to my fat beats. You'll have a great week. Transmission. Transmission.